welcome to our practice today. Thank you so much for being here. I um, found this leaf on my way here, and I thought it was quite symbolic of um, how I was feeling. I don't know if you are right now, but uh, green turning into gold, the transition, the leaf had fallen to the earth, and that feeling that there is a shift in the air, and um, time for a new beginning perhaps, time to let go of the old, and I don't know if you're feeling that, perhaps in the air around you, or in your bones, or in your heart, or your blood, but I thought it would be a good focus for us today to turn inward and to let go through twisting whatever it is that you want to let go of, whatever that might be at this time in your life. So thank you so much for being here. If you haven't rolled out your mat, please do and join me. Now let's begin sitting in your upright meditation seat. If you want to have a little height underneath you, I know I like to have a little bit of height just to give the pelvis a little bit of a lift, a little bit of a forward rotation. Just roll the shoulders a few times, turn your head side to side. And then bring yourself to center. We'll bring the fingers to the earth and from the earth, a deep breath inhalation, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, bring the hands down the midline and center to your heart. And two more breaths like that. Breathe in and out. One more full breath, bringing the energy down from the sky, from your head and down into your heart space. Take a moment, bring one hand over the other. Just close your eyes. Bow your head gently towards your heart and check in to see if there's anything that you'd like to let go of in your life at this time. Whatever that is, you can repeat it silently a few times and help that be your spiritual intention for our practice. Plant it deeply within your heart and then bring your awareness to your foundation. Let's take another deep breath from the earth. We'll reach to the sky, breathing in and breathing out, hands down the midline, breathing in and out. One more full breath. And with your hands to your heart, keep your head stationary, but move your hands from side to side, from one shoulder to the other. Getting that beautiful twist in the upper body, in the shoulder girdle area. And then turn your head the opposite direction. Nice, lovely. And then from there, bring your hands to center. Deep breath inhalation, reach all the way out and up through the heels of your hands, lengthening the spine with your next breath. We'll inhale and reach. Take a little twist towards your right at the center and a little twist towards your left and the center. Let's take the arms behind, interlace your fingers, roll the shoulders down, lift the heart, breathe into your heart space. Letting go, breath through the mouth, let it go. And then release, hands by your sides. Let's make our way to standing. So as you come to standing, just feel very rooted to the earth beneath you. Take a deep breath in, reach to the sky. Bring your hands down the midline, and bend the knees. And then we'll breathe in, reach to the sky, and breathe out, bend the knees. Another full breath, breathe in. And this time as you breathe out, bring your right elbow to your left knee and come into your twist. Press your palms together, keep your knees and pelvis centered. And then we'll breathe into center. And let's breathe out, we'll take that to the other side. And breathe into your belly, belly breath. And your next inhalation, come to center. We'll exhale, bend the knees a little more deeply. 
breathe in, reach all the way up. And this time as you breathe out, swan dive forward and lead with your heart. Feel free to have your legs a little bit bent and fold the arms, do a little side to side flow. Nod your head, feel that beautiful length in the spine. Let's do a letting go breath here. Let your arms feel heavy, your head feel heavy. And then we'll plant the hands into the earth. Walk the hands forward, walk your feet back and come into your down dog. And as you do your down dog, do your heel presses, rotating the hips by bending the knee and crossing it over your midline. One and then the other. And then bend both knees. Let's inhale and exhale. Straighten the legs and reach down through your heels. Breathe in, come onto the knees, come into your cow. Breathe out, untuck the toes, come into your cat. Cow as you breathe in and cat as you breathe out. Another breath, breathe in and out. Step your right foot forward, come into your low lunge. Just take your weight forward and back a little bit. And bring your hand to the leg, bring your pelvis forward and use your leg as a little leverage to twist and look towards your right or over your shoulder behind you. I have Sam joining me today. Well, he's always with me. Sometimes he's in view, sometimes he isn't. <laughs> it's not a wildlife, it's not a deer behind me. That's Sam. <laughs> nice, beautiful. And then lower the hand down. Let's take that knee back, tuck the toes, breathe in, cow. Breathe out, cat. Breathe in, cow. And child's pose, breathe out. Bring that left foot forward. We'll breathe in, lift the heart and breathe out, fold. Breathe in, lift the heart and breathe out to fold. And shift your weight forward. Feel that beautiful stretch, front of the hip, hand to the leg. Use it as leverage to come into your rotation. And again, you can look towards the left or look back behind you. Breathing in and breathing out. Very nice, lovely. And then to center, let's step that knee back. We'll breathe in, cow. And breathe out into your down dog. Come into plank as you breathe in. Child's pose, breathe out. Cow, breathe in. And down dog, breathe out. Raise the right leg to the sky. We'll breathe in and step that foot forward a little to the right of your mat for present moon foundations. You wanna feel nice and strong and stable. Pelvis is level. You can deepen the, the lunge if that feels better for you. Reach to the sky, lift the heart. And then bring the left hand forward and the right arm back. You can hold your gaze steady straight ahead or you can turn your gaze or back behind you. Breath in the belly. Look forward and down, plant your hand to the earth or to your block and reach that right arm to the sky. Press back through that left heel. Wrap the arm around the back. Let's do a little shoulder roll and circle that arm forward and to the earth and then step it back and into down dog. Do a letting go breath. Nice. And then we'll raise the left leg to the sky from your down dog and bring it forward into lunge. Go a little to the left of your mat so you feel strong and stable to come on up. Crescent moon. <laughs> we'll reach to the sky. Sam's doing a little exploring. Good. And then take your twist. Right arm forward, left arm back. Keep reaching back through the right heel for balance, for stability. Good. Come here, Sammy. <laughs> He's doing lots of exploring. So we'll lower the hand down and let's raise that left arm to the sky. Reach back through the heel. Wrap the arm around the back, do a shoulder roll. Send that left side of your heart towards the sky. 
and then we'll circle that arm forward. Breathe in, cleansing exhalation, let it go, breath. Plank, breathe in, child's pose, breathe out. Cow, breathe in, and down dog, breathe out. And then step right or left foot forward, whichever makes most sense for you in your space, so you can bring your hands into your wide V. And then bring your hands to your hip creases and they'll come all the way up. Deep breath in, full body breath. Breathe in and out, hands to heart. Breathe in, reach to the sky. And out, hands to heart. This time, hands to your hips. We'll take a breath, elbows back. Lift the heart, breathe in. Hinge at your hip creases, breathe out, hands underneath your shoulders. Bend your knees and do a little side to side flow. And from your side to side flow, come to center. Come on, Sam. <laughs> and bring the right hand into the midline. And left hand to the hip. Let's take this into a, a twist. Keep reaching back through your tailbone and up through the crown of the head. One line, outer body rotating around that very linear inner core, like a beam of light through your midline, from your tailbone to the crown of your head. And then we'll lower that hand down. And let's take that to the other side. Head over your hand, we're reaching to the sky. Breath in the belly. If it feels better to have your hand to your hip without extending your arm, feel free to do that. Good, and then we'll lower the hand down, let's bend the knees, and do a little side to side flow. Nice, and then come to your center, hands to your hip creases, and we'll come on up, roll the shoulders a few times. Open the arms, breathe in, reach to the sky, and breathe out, and hands to your heart. Breathe in, and out, one more full breath. And then open your arms, we'll turn to the front of the mat, whichever direction that is for you, and step that front foot back, and into down dog. Bend the knees, let's do a letting go breath, inhale. Straighten the legs and reach down through the heels. And then hold for three steady breaths. Just feel the strength of your foundation like a mountain beneath you. Apex of the mountain. Reaching into the sky above you. Nice, and then you can come onto your knees, big toes together, knees apart and thread the right arm underneath the left and extend that left arm forward turn the head and just take a moment pelvis heavy breath in the belly and then we'll unwind come back to center and let's take that to the other side and releasing left side of the head just resting on the earth or your block breathing in and breathing out and then make your way back to center into your child's pose feel that even length through both sides of the waist another letting go breath into the earth And from your child's pose, you can slowly come on up. Just take the knees to one side and the hips to the other. And then you can extend your legs forward. Just take your glutes from your sit bones a little bit. Toes to the sky. Roll the shoulders. Then we'll bend the right leg and take the left leg over top for our twist. Let both sitting bones feel nice and heavy. Hug onto the 
to the leg with your opposite arm, left hand behind you, and use that hand behind you to lengthen the spine, and then come into your rotation from your belly to your shoulders to your head, and then a few belly breaths. Feel a nice massage in your belly, a ringing out, breathing in and a letting go, breathing out, ringing out a little bit more. And keep your head level, but slowly turn your head the other direction. Just to where you feel some resistance and a good stretch. And let's take this to the other side. You can also do this with the right leg extended. But let's take it to the other side. So either left leg extended or bending the left, taking the right foot over top, just nestling sit bones to the earth, breathing in, drawing your leg towards you, hug and breathe out from that length of the spine, come into your rotation and breath in the belly. Nice, and then you can slowly turn your head the other way. Keep your head level. and then bring yourself to center and we'll extend the legs and just give the legs a nice shaking out roll the shoulders a few times nice and then from here let's make our way <laughs> Got lots of, of nature on my mat <laughs> we'll extend the legs forward and then from there toes to the sky have room to lie back behind you. Lift the glutes from your buttocks and then we'll reach to the sky, full breath in and out. Lower yourself part way down and then we'll breathe in, come part way up and breathe out to lower part way down. Remember if there's anything that we're doing that doesn't feel good, stop out and join in again when it feels right to do so. Nice, and then from here you can slowly lower yourself all the way back. You can lower the forearms if you like, or just lower yourself without the forearms. Either way, just slowly all the way to the earth. So letting go breath. <sighs> Bend the knees and take the feet as wide as your mat and open your arms out into saguaro cactus position to your sides. And then just take your knees slowly from one side to the other. Keep your face turned to the sky. And the next time your knees are turned to the right, and just hold and soften. Just soften into your stretch, into the twist. And then to center, let's take that to the other side, letting go, just softening into that twist. Breath in the belly. Bring your knees to center and hug on to your shins, rock gently side to side. And then release both legs towards your right. Let your left arm feel heavy. Your right hand can come to your left leg. Just turn your gaze towards the left. Breath in the belly. Breathing in and breathing out. And then bring your head to center, bring your knees to center, and slowly release your legs to the left. You might want to lift your hips and take them to the left a little bit as you release your knees to the left. Left hand can come to your right leg. Let your right arm feel heavy. The gaze is just soft. Or close the eyes and welcome a fuller breath into your belly here. Every exhalation, just letting go, softening.
Nice, and then you can bring your knees to center and lower the feet. Hug, rock gently side to side, hugging onto your shins or the backs of the legs. And then we'll make our way into Shavasana, extending the legs out. Have your feet as wide as your mat. Have your arms open out to the sides of your body, breathing space for your armpits. Make all the adjustments that you need so that you can feel in alignment and as comfortable as you possibly can. And then a letting go breath, breathing in. And perhaps remember your intention, what it is that you would like to release. And then we'll do another letting go breath, letting it go, breathing in. Whole body just dropping into relaxation, feeling rooted to the earth beneath you. Just drop your, drop your roots deep into the earth from broad roots as they grow deeper, narrower and narrower to fine tendrils, to filaments from the earth absorbing nutrients and nourishment and moisture. And at the front of your body, feel open to the sky above you, spaciousness in the belly, expansiveness in the heart, openness in the mind, clarity, like a blank slate, a blank canvas, from letting go anything and everything is possible. Slowly begin to deepen the breath and Bring some gentle movement into your body, into your toes, your fingers, your head. Bend your knees towards your chest. Give them a nice hug towards you. Rock gently side to side. And then you can roll to your, your side, and from your side, you can slowly push yourself up. And we'll end our practice coming into your comfortable seat, feeling rooted to the earth beneath you. Take a moment to lengthen the spine, and we'll do one more letting go breath. And share an ohm. Oh. You can bring your hands together to your heart, bow your head gently towards your inner light, your heart of hearts. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me and I hope that uh, you enjoyed your practice and I look very forward to next time. Sam does too. <laughs> he's right here. I think he's just out of view perhaps, but thank you so, so much. Take care. <laughs> Donna Falls, let go of something. Let go of something somewhere. Use yoga to become aware. To touch what lies beneath the surface of the skin, is there tension longing for release and not so deep and familiar that you believe it's part of who you are? Ease into dark corners, locked rooms, unexplored hallways. Gain entry not by force or will, but only by softness. Enter on the wings of breath. 
and turn the key of self-acceptance to let go of something somewhere. <laughs>